there's a photo making the rounds of you meeting Princess Diana back in the day. I just yeah. wanted to quickly ask what you remember most about that moment. Uh, how gracious she was. And she took time to talk. It was for Dangerous Liaisons. Mm -hmm. And we had the same hairstyle at the time. <laughs> you both looked fabulous, if I do say so myself. <laughs> it was thrilling. You let her get away with this every time. I told you that I would do better. You always say that. You're and lying. I always try. You got to think about these kids. What do you think I've been thinking about since I was 18 years old, huh? In their new movie, Hillbilly Elegy, both Glenn and Amy had to undergo dramatic transformations, a far cry from their red carpet glam. And for Amy, who plays Bev, well, it got a little personal. Amy, I read that you named the wig Beaver. I always give my wig some version of my character's name. So I called her Beverly at first. Okay. But it was so hot in Georgia when we were filming that my head with my own hair and then that, I just said it feels like there's a beaver sitting on my head. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I, then she got the beaver, and then I would call her Beaverly in the morning, which we thought was a fun take on that. I know this ain't right, honey, but she's your mother. And maybe if we help her this one last time, she'll finally learn her lesson and keep her job. But why can't we let her clean her own mess up for once? The movie is based off a true story, and Glenn made sure not to skip out on any details, playing the role of Appalachian matriarch Maymaw. What was that transformation like for you? What, what steps did you take? I started with a with a headshot, uh, with a portrait of Maymaw, with her glasses and her hair and a certain attitude, and all of us felt that we had a real obligation to be as authentic as possible, to go away from any kind of caricature. But Maymaw was larger than life. She was pretty much the way you see her in the movie.